<laughs> What's up, my peoples? All right, we got to do this for the one time, for the one time, for the one, 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 one motherfucking time. What's up, my peoples? What's up, my peoples? Hey, what's up, my peoples? What's up, my peoples? Hey, what's up, my peoples? And welcome back to a long over motherfucking do video. Um, I feel like this is going to be like more of a update. There's so much to update you guys on. I think one of my last videos was during the pandemic. Obviously, I had coronavirus before it was being tested for I think I had a video or March of 2020 and it is October 2021 now and so much has changed in my life you guys so much and it's time that you guys get updated also this will be I'm just gonna let you guys know right now check in the description bar but I will be uh, using a new channel because I just don't want the stigma of anything else I've posted, which I private, I made everything else private, but um, I'm also not making money from my old post as far as monetization because I started the channel while I was deployed. And since I don't have a bank account in Djibouti, I can't get that money. So I wanna start a new channel here in the States. And yeah, it's going to be lit because I feel like I need to get back to my content creation. That is when I was I want to want to say the happiest, but I felt the most productive and I felt the most purposeful. So let's just get into the update. Right now, I'm like doing laundry. I just came back from traveling. Okay, let's just talk for a little bit. So, update. It's 2021. It's like the last quarter of 2021, basically. It is the last quarter. It's the last quarter of 2021. And I am so ecstatic for 2022 because this has been a trying year you guys like it's been trying mentally physically emotionally i would say financially but it, my life has always been trying financially because i suck at budgeting so that's something that i'm working on from now up until some new things happen for me but yeah so i just i guess let's start with school as you guys know i've been going to get my bachelor's degree bachelor's of science in kinesiology i've been pursuing that degree for oh my gosh like nine years you guys like it's been a long time anybody that is on active duty and has been trying to get a degree will let you know that it's not the easiest to have a full-time active duty career as well as getting a four-year college degree but another thing is, I guess some military people won't understand because a lot of like regular army people are so used to, um, and it's not, it's literally no fucking shade because I know how this can come off. So I just want to let you guys know right now that it's no fucking shade. But a lot of military people will go get their degrees from an online school. In that there's like five week semesters or eight week semesters. So you can go through the classes and get your degree faster, whereas, me i knew that online school wasn't for me first of all like i just can't teach myself anything and i really feel like i need to be in a classroom to learn like i'm very much so a visual learner so yeah and then with my degree being kinesiology like how are you going to perform like how are you going to learn about movement of the body and exercise science without being in the class so there was there was there were times where i were, was able to get off of active duty for six months to take all the classes that i need to take in person in one semester and that was um back in like 2014 or that was in 20 early 2015 um i went to central texas college in colleen and took all the kinesiology classes that i need to take in person that semester and so basically when i got my associates in kinesiology back in 2017 from central texas college i transferred over to utsa in the spring of 2019 and since 2019, I have been grinding, grinding, grinding. One class, two class, sometimes three classes at a time to get my degree. And it's happening this December. I'm currently, it's funny how things work because I said I was an online person, right? Luckily, when y'all remember when I was in LNO at Fort Sam, my supervisor, shout out to um, Matt Sergeant Hodges, awesome guy, by the way. He basically allowed me to change my schedule or work around my schedule so that I could go to UTSA from 2.30 um, until like the last class I think was like ended at 8 or something like that. So I was able to go to the afternoon classes in order to finish up 
or to like knock out some classes of my degree plan so that's what I did and I don't think it would have been possible without his leadership I was very appreciative of that and that helped me get along um, a little bit faster because I was able to take some more in-person classes and a lot more in-person classes at one time so I'd have like two classes on one day and one class on another day you know like Monday through Thursday or whatever at first I wasn't going to be able to walk in the graduation because I missed the deadline I was just super stressed out because as you guys know I'm a recruiter now if you don't know I am a recruiter. This is my little recruiter polo. I have Texas Army National Guard on the back, my name, and then the team that I'm on, Team Outlaw. Um, but yeah, I'm a recruiter now for the Texas Army National Guard, and starting up as a recruiter is overwhelming as fuck. Okay, you guys, excuse, pardon my motherfucking language, okay? It, it has been the most overwhelming job I've ever had in my Army career. It's definitely what I expected but at the same time it's not, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's all I really have to say about it. But anyways, because I started up recruiting, I completely just like let school, like I would do what I needed to do for school and just be done with it. Like I was very much so compartmentalizing what I had to do with school. And so it just, lo it lo I lost track of time and was unable to, y'all, this is really ghetto, but when I turn on this dryer, my lights are gonna shut out, watch. And I live in luxury apartments, guys. So then I have to go all the way over here to the breaker and turn it back on. Three, boom, we back. Um, I missed the deadline for to apply for graduation, so I ended up sending up an email, filing a petition, and they accepted my uh, petition to walk in December. So I'm super excited about that because I do have one friend, shout out to Randy, who was like my workout partner here and we took one class together that we fucking aced together during the pandemic. Um, it was amazing. So we're both gonna be able to walk together. Well, not together, her last name is R, my last name starts with a J obviously, but yes, we'll be in the same ceremony basically. So there's that, I'll be graduating in December. I don't even know the date yet, but I just know I'll be graduating in December. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the job, right? So I applied for recruiting back in June of 2020. I don't know if you guys know, but I wrote out um, active duty orders, ADOS orders for about almost nine years. I wrote those orders, eight and a half years. I, it was amazing. Um, I, it was, I loved it. I loved being on ADOS, loved it. Never had an issue getting a job. Um, but as if you know about ADOS, you know after 1,095 days, um, on ADOS, you either have to take a year off or go on a deployment. The first time I hit that time, I went on deployment. I volunteered for deployment. The second time, I did not want to go on deployment again, so I was like, I'll just take a year off, and I'll, it was during the pandemic anyway, I'll apply for, um, AGR positions. I applied for AGR positions in June. My orders ended in the end of September. Um, they told me that I was going to get AGR, and then the AGR freeze happened. Um, because of everything that was going on during the pandemic and all the COVID missions, all the activations, um, all the activations that the National Guard soldiers were getting activated for, there was like no money and then there was like slots that were overfilled. On the AGR side, slots were overfilled, so there was a freeze, right? So I fell into that time of a freeze where they weren't hiring nobody, basically. If you see a mess, excuse my place. I. We're gonna talk about that, okay. I'm gonna be, I'm going to be very fucking transparent with you guys and that's just that on that, all right? So I ran into an AGR freeze, so I literally had to be unemployed for like six months. In March or January, March, February, um, my current boss now, my supervisor now, hit me up and was just like, hey, give me your packet, we're about to get you on orders basically AGR I'm going the wrong place so I was like all right bet so got my packet together and I started my orders March 15th it was a very happy time because being a recruiter is something that I always wanted to do everybody knows like as an NCO you're either going to be a recruiter 
or a drill sergeant as your broadening assignment I guess but in the guard you really don't need a broadening assignment to be completely honest but yeah I always knew that I had the personality as you guys can tell right y'all know I got the personality to be a recruiter right so I got on and it was an extremely hard time to get on because as you know March is like right there close to the summertime and how are you gonna recruit kids during the summertime also schools weren't letting us in there like they weren't letting visitors in so we were really unable to really like recruit in the schools um, on top of half the students were in the schools um, on top of it was a fucking pandemic so recruiting in 2020 was in 2021 was fucking hard all right especially during the summertime and then coming in as a new recruiter they sent me to school very quickly which they usually don't do um the two people that i went to school with to get my badge which is the recruiter badge they had already been recruiting for like almost a year so they sent me to school so i was already like not available even though it was an online school first off <laughs> um even though i was like not available like I just wasn't available to my school during that time. I was really focused on the class. Um, so, yeah. I wonder if I should go put a shirt on. Let's All right, see. so boom. It was really overwhelming. Okay, I want to say, and it's we're going to roll into the mental health piece as well, right? So, it was really overwhelming for me to come off of not working like so from when the pandemic started in March of 2020 to the end of September 2020 I literally was going in the office when I felt like it I was working from home so I really wasn't doing anything but checking emails you know just being available then I was unemployed from October till March again straight unemployment not doing anything you know obviously i was running my business and i was going to school full time for me to roll right into the most extreme job i've ever had in my life it was very fucking like overwhelming just being around people again just getting to know people again getting back in the soldier mind frame and the nco mind frame like it was extremely tough because Basically, I had been unemployed for a year. I really didn't have to put on my uniform anymore um, for a year. Like COVID, the pandemic, it really like fucked up my mind. Like I, my sleeping patterns were off. My eating patterns were off. Um, I was in the house all the time. I was in the bed all the time. I didn't work out any. Um, I traveled a little bit, um, but for the most part, I was literally like in here with me and my dogs, okay? Um, it was an extremely tough time for me mentally during the lockdown or pandemic but I honestly enjoyed it as much of a struggle it was I enjoyed not having to do anything and that's how I know I'm kind of, I kind of have the, it was like a lot of self-awareness during the pandemic for me because I realized like I am kind of a lazy person I have a very lazy spirit working just sounds so freaking ghetto y'all and it is at times but ultimately I knew that this is the job that I wanted before the pandemic ever hit and that the pandemic was just a growing pain but it definitely forced me um to learn new things about myself mentally what triggers me to go into depressive states because there were a lot of them during the pandemic i will say i was depressed probably 40 30 to 40 percent of the time but i was managing that's for sure i was going outside i was trying to go on hikes from time to time um, you know, I was obviously busy with school, so there's that. But yeah, so roll into recruiting again. Uh, the summer months sucked. I went straight to school. And then it just seems like time when you're working goes by so fast. The week, like when you're overwhelmed and your job is busy and the op tempo is so high, the days go by extremely fast. The weeks go by extremely fast. And before you know it, you're like, I've done all this work, but I've accomplished nothing. That's literally what recruiting is. It's like, I'm out here, I'm in my area, I'm talking to people, I'm, you know, having meetings, we're doing packets, and then something happens. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it was, it's, it can get defeating. And then there's those high, it's like, 
my boss always says it's like peaks and valleys like there will be a high where you actually enlist somebody and it's going great and then there'll be a low where you get a whole packet done and find out they're like disqualified or they disqualify themselves so it's like damn this sucks this is actually really hard because your whole job is to qualify them or dis your whole job is to disqualify them as much as you can before sending them to MEPS military entrance processing station so so then you'll figure it out and then there's a high of I got it I got another person in we're good to go I'm getting my my sales pitch as far as like how I conduct my um, initial appointments with applicants they're going well they're committing they're ready to go and then there's a low of like damn nobody's in my funnel nobody's trying to talk to me about the guard I feel like crap and then there's like life situations happening death you know financial burdens on the family stuff like that and it's just like your energy like anything that takes your mind or your energy away from recruiting can be detrimental to your success so there's been plenty of things that have taken my mind away or my energy away from recruiting and so it's like really hard to like combat that at times so it's all about balance and i feel like i've been doing it for now march april may june july august september october i've been doing it seven months and it does not feel like seven months it literally feels like three months and i still don't have it like i feel like i've enlisted i think five people so far and none of them have come out of the work that I've done in high schools like I go to football games I go to volleyball games I set up at lunchroom displays none of those five people have come from me putting in work at the high schools and it's extremely discouraging so just combating those feelings um, every other day is hard and it's overwhelming and it sends me into uh, another depressive state where I can just be lazy and not take care of the things that I need to take care of because then there's other things that are going on that are taking away my taking my energy away from having a balanced mental state as far as being able to balance work life love life or work life home life love life and then the personal goals that I have for myself so there's one personal goal in particular that I'm working on right now. Most of you probably know just by the way I'm talking about it. It's a lot of people's goals, especially when you get to my age. If you don't know, I'm 31 years old. So um, I turned uh, 31 in June and it's just been a goal of mine to um, be a homeowner. So I am um, currently in the process of accomplishing that goal. Let's just say Uncle Sam has spoiled me and I've never truly had to budget per se so that's going to be hard on me anything I want I go get it for the most part if it's reasonable I'm gonna buy it and so before you know it $40 here $50 here $60 here $20 here $15 here $40 here $100 here $200 here $400 here and I've spent a total of $700 a month for one person to eat shopping wise $1,200 per month just shopping so it's quite irresponsible of me I have to admit and that's why I'm telling you guys as sort of like a accountability and maybe you guys can give me some tips or some tricks I've watched all first of all I've watched all the YouTube videos on fucking investing budgeting home ownership credit all that stuff like my credit's good I got my you know uh, pre-approval so I'm I'm good Gucci, Gucci there um, obviously I make enough money to get approved and my I pay my bills it's not that I'm like irresponsible I just suck at budgeting I guess that's sort of irresponsible but I pay my bills so fuck what y'all talking about I'm not irresponsible okay uh, <laughs> I don't struggle I eat well you know my bills are paid there's like financially I'm in a place where I can do that however I'm not in the place to like if I was to lose my job pay my bills for the next three to six months no not gonna happen we gonna depend on the government for that no cap there's no cap here y'all already know very transparent very raw very real about what I got going on and it's gonna stay that way it's gonna always be that way okay so there's that I feel like that's a pretty solid update so we're gonna roll into why you should go subscribe to my other channel I don't even have a name for it yet I'm going to start working on it I'll just say that on my new channel it's just gonna be another chapter of my life y'all got the late 20s chapter of my life from all the traveling and deployment and uh, relationships and all that stuff you're still gonna get that 
but in a new chapter where I actually get paid for it, right? I'm going to start, this is the highly, 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 highly requested, y'all, highly fucking requested videos of that time I dated. You already know what I was gonna say. If you're an OG, one of my peoples for real, if you're one of my peoples for real, you already knew what I was gonna say. Y'all been asking for that time I dated. I have about three that time I dated. One, I'm currently, Still working on dating so I won't talk about him actually there's somebody else though so we I still got three that time I dated within four so yeah definitely subscribe to the new channel this is the last video going on the being Andy Jane channel I'm pretty sure it'll probably just be being Andy Jane TV or being Andy Jane being Andy I don't know what to call it mindfully Andy I feel like I'm more mindful and aware in the in my 30s now. And maybe, I feel like sometimes people don't notice how mindful and aware I am, but I notice for sure. I fucking notice. <laughs> it's ridiculous, I fucking notice. So I keep my mouth shut a lot. And then sometimes I open my mouth up a lot more than I normally would have because of boundaries that I set that I just don't give a fuck. You're gonna hear it, you're gonna get it. Not get it. Cause I never come at anybody, but you're gonna hear how I feel about it. Whereas in the past, I was so much a people pleaser and didn't wanna rock the boat. Now I don't give a fuck. We splashing on this bitch. So, especially if it has anything to do with like my peace or my space or my boundaries. Period, point fucking blank. So I love being 30. It's just like, I just reaffirmed um, something in myself that I was missing in my 20s that I really wanted and missed. I shed a lot of those insecurities and fears and um, ego-driven traits, and now we're on to bigger and better things. So I, I might not be being Andy Jane anymore. I might be mindfully Andy. I don't know, because my Instagram is going to stay being Andy Jane, okay? So let's just leave that at that. First of all, shout out to my peoples that were like still checking on me during the pandemic, still like waiting for my content, like wanting my content, asking me when I was gonna get back in, saying I should start up my YouTube channel again, saying they miss my videos, DMing me all the time, just checking in, supporting me, cheering me on. Y'all are the fucking best. Like, thank you a thousand times, my fucking peoples. My peoples, my peoples, my peoples. I don't think that I could have accomplished as much as I did without you guys, without my Being Andy Jane channel. That puts so much confidence into me as a person, as somebody that can like set out goals and accomplish something. Like I accomplished a nice following from um, YouTube. I was able to change lives. Um, I was able to meet some of you guys and you guys have had impacted my life. I'm just super appreciative and I can't wait to be back on this journey with you guys like my fucking peoples yo my peoples y'all my peoples y'all my peoples y'all my peoples y'all my peoples okay y'all my fucking peoples and i love y'all and if nobody has told you today you are fucking awesome all right your personality is dope you look bomb your body is bomb all right, your hair is laid, okay? Your edges are there. They're thick, they're flourishing, all right? Your goals are set and you are going to accomplish every single one of them. I hope that you are blessed and productive today, unlike me on most days, but we're gonna keep affirming that. We are blessed, blessed, positive, and productive every motherfucking day, all right? We're going to keep affirming that until the motherfucking happens. We're going to fake it till we make it. And I truly believe in that, which kind of makes me flaw as fuck at times. But let's be real. I am I can be honest and say that I be faking it till I make it. And then I make it and I'm so glad I faked it. And so I'll just leave you guys with that. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure y'all go in the description down there, down below, or wherever it's at now because YouTube is different now. And subscribe to my new channel because that's the only way y'all are going to see me again um i guess the next video will be a vlog or that time i dated all right y'all take it easy be blessed Peace. before i go y'all another cool thing about the being a recruiter is like i get hella free shit y'all hella free shit hella free shit okay so yeah <laughs> that's it that's all i had